you guys welcome back to Tease TV y'all today I'm about to show you guys <laughs> a very long awaited video okay I have attempted to create my very first dress I know I was like debating whether I should uh, put this video on my YouTube channel because you know to me it was a fail like I feel like I just missed the mark here um, I'm sorry, I'm probably making the, the camera shake. Oh, it's about to fall. Okay, if y'all fall while I'm doing this intro, I'm sorry. But anyway, so um, I have been debating whether I should post this video on my channel or not because like it's a complete fail. To me, it is. Like I just felt like it didn't come out the way I envisioned it. Um, I did try to recreate this dress once before and it was like in a tan color. And let me just show y'all, hold on. Okay, so this is what the dress looks like. It's in, first of all, it has one sleeve. So this is what the dress looks like. It actually came out really well, but the thing is, because it was my very first time sewing a dress, or it's just sewing period, um, I put the stretch like on the wrong side. So this is the way you're supposed to wear the dress. The dress. So this is the neck hole, this is the sleeve, and the stretch is supposed to go like this way. But as you can see, there's a little to no stretch. All of the stretch is going down the dress. So I accidentally sewed that completely, completely wrong. And um, I was like, you know what? I want to recreate the same dress, doing it, you know, the right way and everything like that. Still a complete fail. So, um, but you know what? I just feel like on social media, a lot of times we try to put like our best foot forward and like always show our complete best, you know, our work, our life, whatever and my thing is is that like with my platform i want to be able to be as transparent as honest as real as possible so for me showing you guys this video of me making this dress and it's not completely horrible i feel like i want to show this side of myself too so you guys can see like where i where i started like my journey as a as a fashion designer this new passion of mine and sewing so um so yeah so i'm gonna stop talking now and we're gonna go ahead and get started so you guys can see this video um but before we do if you haven't done so already go ahead and subscribe to tease tv and if you end up liking this video at towards the end of the video make sure you go also give it a thumbs up and also hit the notification bell button right next to the subscribe button so that way you're notified when I post a video. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. just like taking out the pieces of fabric trying to figure out which way the stretch goes because honestly y'all I was not about to mess up again like I did the first time so I got this pattern from Walmart um it was maybe like three bucks it was something for um that's easy for beginners so this is why I picked it out but right now I'm just laying out the um pattern piece on top of the fabric as y'all can see like this desk is so hard to manage fabric or to like do any type of sewing cutting pinning on here so um but it's okay i got that situated but right now i am just pinning the pattern piece to 
the fabric and I'm just gonna let you guys know right now I already messed up okay y'all gonna see it later on um, but I basically did not fold the fabric this is the fabric um, with it just being completely laid out no type of fold so and I'm also pinning the pattern piece um, away from the fabric so I didn't realize that um, when I first started doing it and you're basically supposed to put the pattern piece um, one side to towards the fold and you're not supposed to cut that piece so as you can see I'm just going about my business and I just started cutting and um, yeah I'm gonna do this to the other piece as well I don't know if I show it on here or not but um, I cut the entire piece out y'all this is not how you're supposed to do it unless you want like a seam in the middle of the dress like all the way from top to bottom then it's cool but yeah you're not supposed to do that so here I am getting ready to do the second piece um, this is supposed to be the back and just stretch out the fabric and as you guys can see I have a horrible cut on the other side y'all like it was it was it was doomed at this point <laughs> at the very beginning but um yeah so i'm just gonna continue stretching it out pinning it and i here i go again cutting it all the way around which i'm not supposed to do but it's okay i actually learned now that you know anytime i'm making a, a garment to not cut at the fold and to also go um where the grain i'm you know towards the grain or whatever wherever the parts for the grain but anyway here i am y'all just cutting away like just so happy putting the piece away and i noticed that i was doing it wrong because the shoulder piece is where i was doing it right i folded the fabric i put it where the fold and towards the grain and everything and that's where i'm like oh man I'm, i definitely made a mistake so i'm taking all the pins out now and i'm just gonna save this piece of fabric for something else i don't know for what maybe i can make like a top or something but i completely had to scrap this because i couldn't use it so i finally figured out what to do um and as you can see right here is where you're supposed to put the straight edge towards the fold and that piece you're not supposed to cut so finally realized that and i got it together um so good thing i had enough fabric to do this because at first i didn't think i was but um i ended up just pinning it again and then i'm only going to cut the outer parts and not the fold you'll see it in a second and another mistake i made which you know just now looking back at it is i was cutting way too much fabric around um the little cuts piece oh and this is where i started to just save these little pieces away i kind of put the numbers on what they're like what the piece actually is in case i do want to end up you know sewing this again and don't care about the seam in the middle or you know going all the way down the dress but um so i'm just kind of making some notes here just to let me know like what part is the dress So I went ahead and cut all the pieces out and I am about to pin the front of the dress to the back of the dress and um, this part wasn't so bad um, but like I was saying like I cut out way too much I should have um, cut closer to the actual pattern itself instead of leaving so much seam allowance I, I thought I was using you know trying to put um, an extra space there for seam allowance, but I put way too much as you'll see it later on in the video But um, right now I'm just kind of pinning them together and as you can see I'm cutting the bottom because I just had way too much fabric and it wasn't aligned correctly. So um, and It still isn't aligned correctly, but it's okay. It's my first time um, But I'm just gonna be only pinning the sides um, and everything and once again y'all this is not a tutorial whatsoever I am just talking to you guys <laughs> um, just through like my process and like what I was thinking and all the good stuff. So trust me, all this is not a tutorial. Please do not do what I am doing. But um, luckily they did come with instructions with the pattern. So I was able to follow that for the most part. 
Um, but I think I got a little bit carried away um, throughout the process because I did this before with the same pattern. So um, yeah, I should have just like read, read it to the T once again. But anyway, um, I'm just making some straight stitches alongside the dress and just looking at it right now, I should have maybe pinned um, a little bit differently. I've been seeing like some people pin it um, like, you know, just a little different so it's easier to take out as you are stitching the dress or stitching a piece. So, um, but anyway, that's not a big deal. But for right now, I'm doing a pretty good job with just creating a straight stitch. Of course, the seam on the side is just, as you can see, y'all, it's, it's kind of crazy just the way I cut it, um, which I have purchased some tools now um, well after making this dress so that way I can just you know make sure that I'm cutting the pieces properly and everything like that but um, but I did a pretty good job right here I tried to stretch the fabric enough so it didn't create like this rippled effect that you're kind of seeing right now um, but I didn't want to stretch it too much because it is a very stretchy material that I'm using so this was kind of like my second time using this type of material so I'll, I'll kind of get better I will get better at it um, as I continue working with fabrics like this but um, I am now done with the second seam on the side and my thread got stuck so I had to like take everything out and um, this was kind of crazy here because I've done this before but um, I, don't, I just couldn't understand why like it wasn't working properly so as you can see it gets stuck right here and it won't go any further so I had to take like all of the parts out, the bobbin, the um, little mechanical pieces inside just to get that one small um, thread out of the machine. Um, and then, yeah, this was kind of confusing at first, but I was able to get everything in place um, and together. So at this point, I decided to go ahead and just make sure I threaded um, the bobbin again. I don't know why I decided to give um, to rethread the bobbin, but I did. And um, I think it's because it just kept getting stuck over and over. So I just decided to just give me a whole fresh bobbin. Um, yeah, I don't know if that helped or anything, but it must have helped because now I was able to stitch everything properly and I didn't have any like issues, so maybe it did help. And um, yeah, that's the second part of the stitch. I'm just doing my back stitches and my front stitches to make sure I secure it and everything like that. And um, I think that this part was a lot easier since I have experience with straight stitches. But um, you guys will kind of see the results after this clip. Okay, and this is what we have so far. Um, I am actually pretty proud of myself. You know, just looking back at this video, I did shoot this like, you know, a couple of weeks ago. So um, yeah, but now looking at it, it's like, okay, I did a pretty good job. And it's an actual dress. Like I'm able to put it on and everything. And you guys will see that it does fit a little awkward on me. And my dog just wants all of my attention right now, <laughs> as you guys can see. <laughs> Hi, Rocky. Okay. <laughs> but um, yeah, it fits really good. I do have some ruching type of, you know, fit on the sides because of just like the way I was stitching it and pulling the fabric, um, which I can do better. But as you guys can see, my husband is checking me out, see how it looks. And he looks pretty proud. He was, he was actually pretty impressed what I did um, so I'm just gonna be taking some pins and I just wanted to kind of pull the fabric a little bit more so that way it kind of fits my body um, a lot better because it was just way too big and I figured that this was the best way to go this is the best route for me I don't know if this is how you're supposed to fit dresses um, you know when you're trying to make them form-fitting to your figure but this is what it looks like just being pinned. I did not do the hemming of the neck, nor did I do sleeves because I just didn't have any fabric left over to do the sleeves. Um, and I didn't even finish the hem at the bottom of the dress, but I'm just going to sew that. And this is 
the quote unquote finished product because honestly I did not finish the dress but this is what it looks like after I um, you know fixed that side stitch um, just making sure that the dress fits a little bit better and it actually does um, this fabric is of course really cheap so it is see-through but I just wanted to use this type of fabric since it was you know inexpensive and easy for me to test on but y'all it actually fits me really good it looks good I'm actually really proud of myself wow I said it was a failure at first but I really think looking back like this is actually a really good job for it to be my first time so um, I need to give my, myself some more credit but I might have to attempt to try this again but for now I think this is the way it's gonna look <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching um, I did not finish this dress as you can see I kept having issues like with the machine and everything like that so I was just like okay and it was getting like late that night so honestly I haven't picked it up since I may end up trying to finish it uh, at a later time I actually need to buy more fabric to finish that dress because I've messed up you know after I made those first cuts which was bizarre but um, I need to go ahead and buy some more fabric to finish that dress but again it was my very first time or at least second attempt to make this dress um, which like I said I did I think I did a pretty decent job and then I started having that ruching y'all it was it was messy it was it was messy but um I did want to show you guys and you probably have seen it if you do follow my Instagram follow me on my Instagram but I did create this denim tote purse it's so cute let me just get up so y'all can see like it is the cutest purse it has a pocket and this is what it looks like on the inside y'all can see um, so yeah, I made these out of my husband's jeans and so um, I noticed like on TikTok a lot of people were saying well when I was looking up like sewing projects a lot of people were saying that um, Sewing totes tote bags are like the easiest projects to do for beginner sewers. So I was like, okay, let me give it a try Y'all I did not make this out of a pattern like I literally just cut up my man's jeans and sewed it together and y'all this is what it came out to be so I'm very proud of myself I am getting better um, and like I said I wanted to show you guys this video um, because you know this is a part of my journey this is a part of my beginner stages of sewing so I feel like this is also for me too because I want to be able to see like when I look back on this video and be like oh my gosh like this is what my work look like <laughs> like and look where I am now so that's that's the kind of mindset and the reason behind me um, also doing this video but thank you guys again for watching and um, also stay tuned because I don't know if you guys noticed but the office is starting to look a little bare in the back I don't want to show you guys too much because um, I am making a video on redecorating my office um, Carl has moved his office into another um, side of the house so I have this whole room to myself which is great for creating looks and just having a whole type of vibe going on in this room so keep a look out on that make sure notification bell button so you know so you know when i do post that video and um y'all it's gonna be a whole vibe it's gonna be a whole vibe like i kid y'all not and so um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and close this video out thanks again for watching guys and i love y'all so much and um comment down below what you think i should try to create give me something simple okay give me something real simple don't try to go you know what i'm saying trench coat a mm -mm. uh, fitted pants give me something real simple what you guys think i should create next i have an idea in my head of what i'm going to do um video wise but let me know what you guys want to see because i'm thinking about making a few more of these just so i can get you know into the groove of making tote bags and like you know just perfecting the um the the sewing pattern and like just you know straight edges and all that good stuff all that all that nice cute sewing terminology but if you guys have any ideas on what you want me to sew next let me know all right love y'all and i'll talk to you guys later until next time bye